Hey everybody, um, this is a tutorial on mastering your track. Uh, it's best to use these practices when your track is finished or you want to modify or master somebody's uh, content and they've sent it to you because they don't have access to the tools that you do. Um, the first thing that you want to open is your multimeter and it's found in metering. There are two parts to the multimeter, the analyzer and the goniometer. Um, it's nice to note the presets, the uh, plus five decibels, mono, and the hold, uh, peak hold is not on. So I prefer having mine at hold two seconds. I bring this down to zero decibels, make sure that there's no clipping, and uh, let's change this to fast, and uh, maybe left, right, max. So let's get a good view of what's happening at the beginning of this song. Okay, so right off the bat, we notice that there's a lot happening in the lower uh, range here. So uh, the lower domain, my bad. Um, lots of bass, and uh, it's very quick. So there's going to be some pumping, and you might want to look into your compressor and things like that. So that's what this tool is great for. It's kind of seeing response times and, and what's being hit, what's uh, what's attacking well, and, and where everything kind of is. It gives you a feel for the song, and maybe uh, you want to look into it and see that there isn't enough bass, so there isn't enough uh, higher higher uh, you know, like, uh, flute <laughs> or something in, in that higher range here. So anyway, um, the second part of the multimeter is the goniometer, and this is useful in that it shows you the stereo settings or where the outs are going. So if it's to the left, to the right, or centered. Ideally we want a song that's kind of like a puffball, uh, nothing extremely uh, to the left or extreme right, um, you know, so we can we can give it to those those folks that know how to send it to the right places. Um, let's play it and uh, see what's happening. Okay, um, it seems all right. Uh, there's nothing, you know, too bad. We have a diamond shape, and you can probably look online and see uh, what shapes mean and, and where to go with that and what to do if you don't like your sound. But I think it's okay uh, in, in the third dimension here. So um, that's all right. And finally, and probably most importantly, uh, is the correlation bar. I didn't include that, or I didn't say that was the third part, but it shows you your phasing, or uh, if you're if you're in sync with your phasing or out of sync. Okay, notice the first time it was kind of strange. It had a little bit of lag there. Um, it didn't show that it crossed into the red with that bass. I know it's the bass. Um, there's not too much I can do about that. If it's your bass, it's nothing really to worry about. Um, it just shows you that you're going to have a little bit of. Uh, uh, of an issue with, with some of the sound uh, repercussions and things of that sort. So those are the three parts of the multimeter.